So muscles of the head and neck include the digastrix under the mandible and the mylohyoid situated right between those two. And then along the larynx and extending down to the sternum is the sternohyoid. So that runs from the sternum to the hyoid bone. And then if we turn to the side, we can see the masseter, the chewing muscle on the side of the cheek here. And then going over to the opposite side of the neck, we've got the sternomastoid, which is medial and more superficial. And then lying lateral to that and deep is the clitomastoid. So there's the clitomastoid, and you can see the clavotrapezius coming around from the back. Yeah, right there, and that clitomastoid is under that. Okay, so we have the cat chest muscles now. The very first one is the pecto antibrachialis, very long, running from the chest down to the antibrachium. And if we move that slightly to the side, we can see the pectoralis major lying underneath. And if we pull up on its caudal border, we can see the pectoralis minor under and running all the way back, extending all the way back to where the ziphi humoralis is found. And so the ziphi humoralis is right there. We can see uh, another ziphi humoralis on the other side of the cat that's dissected out very nicely and it's being shown right now. So there's your other ziphi humoralis on the other side. These muscles run under the latissimus dorsi on their way to the humerus.